This video is going to cover surface area of pyramids and cones. Now it has some similarities with prisms and cylinders, but pyramids and cones only have one base and they have two different heights. So first let's talk about the two different heights. When you think about a pyramid, how tall it is is represented from top to bottom, straight up and down. Now in a prism or in a pyramid and a cone, that's going to be top to bottom. That's going to be a vertical measurement, but that's the inside height of the pyramid or cone. When you're finding the surface area, you're working with the outside of it. So we're working on what is known as the slanted height. Okay, that's the, it's not technically a height of it, but it's the height of one of your lateral faces. Okay, so it's going to be slanted. So that's the slant height. So just wanted to cover the difference between a regular height and a slanted height of a pyramid or a cone. Now, when it's time to find the surface area of a pyramid or a cone, it's pretty simple and it's similar to finding the surface area of a prism or a cylinder. Just slightly different formulas. First of all, for our type of examples, we're going to be using regular polygons for bases. We're not going to be using, you know, oblique and different kind of funky pyramids. We're just going to use straightforward regular polygon bases. So again, the base area really depends on the shape. For a lateral area, it's going to be one half of the perimeter times the slanted height. And the reason why, if you look at one of the faces of a pyramid, if you just look at it in two dimensions, it's a triangle. And to find the area of the triangle, we're going to do the base times the height, but our formula is one half the base times the height. That's just a straight up formula for area of a triangle. Well, the reason why we use the perimeter is because if you think about it in terms of this pyramid here, you have one triangle, two triangles, three triangles, four triangles, one on the left, right, front, and back. But we find that with the perimeter for all the bases. So really, if you were to unwrap that, it would look kind of like this. And then each one of these sides would be the same. That's why it's the perimeter, and they should all have the exact same height. But again, on the face, that is a slanted height. That's why the formula is a lateral area um, is one half the perimeter times the slanted height. Total area this time is just base plus lateral area. Um, because a pyramid and a cone only have one base, so you don't have to multiply it by two like we do in prisms and cylinders. So, let's go check it out. Sometimes you have to find some missing information. So if we look at this, this 25 is the edge. That's not our slanted height. So we know all of these bases are 14. So we're going to split that into 7 and 7. So let's look at just one of the faces for a second. Here's our slanted height that we need. All of our edges are 25 and our base length is 14 which is split to 7 and 7. So you're going to have to use your good buddy the Pythagorean theorem quite often in this unit. So we're going to just have to do 7 squared plus L squared is equal to 25 squared and find out that our slanted height is 24. So, we have that information. Again, our base is a regular polygon. So since there's four sides, it's a square. Um, so as mentioned before, the area is 196. And the perimeter of the base is 56. So now we're ready to just go put it all together. Base area just mentioned, 196 units squared. The lateral area is one half of our perimeter of 56 times the slanted height which we found is 24. So one half of 56 times 24 is going to give us a total lateral area of 672 units squared. And then again, pyramids only have one base. So we just have to add the base and the lateral area together to find a total surface area of 868 units squared. And that's it. We're good to go. 
Why don't you try the cone on your own? Pause the video, see if you can handle the cone on your own. Yes, you do have to use the Pythagorean theorem to find the radius of the cone. Now go. Let's see if you got it right. Draw on your radius. Um, R squared plus 8 squared is equal to 10 squared, so your radius should be 6. So if you have a circle with a radius of 6, our area should be 36 pi, and our circumference should be 12 pi. So the base area, just found it, 36 pi units squared. Our lateral area is one half of our circumference, which is 12 pi, times the slanted height we know is 10. And that'll give us a grand total of 60 pi units squared. Put it all together to find the total surface area, and we're just going to add those two together because, again, we only have one base, 96 pi, unit squared. That's it. That's as simple as it is for finding surface area of pyramids and cones. This is Longo, and I'm out. See you, bye.